welcome or welcome back to the channel it is me true from true water intuition back to do another general message for the cancer collective please keep in mind these messages are general so they may or may not resonate for everyone's circumstance if you guys find that these messages are resonating that is always amazing feel free to check feel free to let your girl know below in the comments how these messages resonate for you as well as giving this video a thumbs up if you have not already done so thank you all in advance for all the thumbs ups for those of you who have already given this video a thumbs up i pray that these messages reach each and every one of you guys in the best of health and spirit and without any further ado we're gonna jump right on in spirit let's see what's going on for cancer Happy Sunday. Mm, the Hierophant is here. That's that elevation. That's that promotion. Period. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all heavily on your spiritual journey in this time. Yes. King of Swords is here. This could also just be you being very focused on what it is that you want. Maybe you focused on your work. He looked like he had work to me, child. Okay, so you real focused on work and your stability in this time, making um, wise decisions for yourself. Period. Goals. You got certain goals that you're trying to smash in this time. Spirit wants you to already know, child, that you are definitely blowing up. It's like you see how the stars look like they just shooting out like um the confetti when you pull the little thing and everything just pops out explodes that's what spirit is doing for you that's what you have on the horizon okay some of y'all this is some sort of award or reward that is coming in that will be raining down on you honey let me see let me see some of y'all could have recently gotten some sort of promotion, upgrade when it comes to work. Mm -hmm. Period. Current energy. I feel like you guys could be getting a lot of recognition here as well. The Six of Swords. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands is like riding in. You didn't receive some sort of victory. And you coming home, you receiving this praise and this success all around you. Okay, we got King Dingling here. Hmm. What is King Ding doing here? King Dingling need to put some clothes on, don't he? Some of y'all, somebody is missing you sexually. They feel like they bagged up, child. Ten of Wands, it's a burden because they ain't had that thing in a while. Now, for my Cancer Masculines, you are King Dingaling. Somebody missing that thing? That thing, thing. For my Feminines, y'all already know King Dingaling said they ain't had that cat in a while, child. I need it back. I need it back. Okay, somebody said they need it back. Oh, child, child, child. Cancer, you must be got that A1. <laughs> Like that A1 sauce. That's what it is. That's that A1 sauce. Mm-hmm. Can't find that sauce nowhere. Child, what they thought. Hmm. Look at them. You ain't even paying this person no attention, though. You focused on other shit right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't start this shit today, spirit. Okay, we don't want no past people coming in this air energy. Dude, this about cancer. We ain't thinking about none of these folks. What's the energy coming towards my cancers? I think in this time, cancer, you need to be King Dean. Okay, you need to be so goddamn full of yourself in this time. I know a lot of people try to teach you, oh, you shouldn't be like that. Fuck you mean. That's how we gonna win. What is you talking about? King of Wands. Some of y'all could be boxers. I'm hearing something about training. Maybe some of y'all training. I don't know what that means. You focused on your training. Um, 
maybe this is about like working out and stuff you going hard in the gym you focused man period because look at his body child king ding is in the gym okay i'm just saying some of y'all that's the thing honey and and i also feel an energy like with the hierophant it's like in the streets i come across this way but in them sheets child it's a whole nother look 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 look, look. it's something else honey hmm you present yourself very well cancers <laughs> somebody having a hard time finding somebody like you that's what it is because it's like you this hierophant like i said you got all of this spirituality about yourself or your religious practices you are very wise when it comes to your work very articulate even as the king of swords you ain't afraid to make certain decisions because king of swords is a fearless type of energy too at the end of the day like the knight of swords and then you get to the king of swords right the knight of swords is trying to become the king of swords so at the end of the day, the Knight of Swords is the one that's rushing to the field. We rush into the battle, sword ready in hand. So by the time you become the King of Swords, child, you damn sure out there slaying motherfuckers, okay? If that's what you got to do, you're not afraid to do so. Some of y'all, let me see, because now I'm thinking of like boxing or some sort of you know like mma fighting ufc shit like that when you fighting you know as a fighter them punches gonna come child you can't run you can't just run and ball up up against the damn ropes and just let motherfuckers beat your ass you know what i'm saying you got to be ready to meet them punches head on child even if we're not talking about like sports wise even if we're talking on the street in a fight you can't run away. You got to be willing to get hit, child. At the end of the day, you can't be afraid to catch no lick. <laughs> you better learn how to eat them motherfuckers at the end of the day. And make sure that whenever you come back with yours, that shit coming back 10 times harder. What are you talking about? We're going to absorb that punch and we're going to get that shit back to you 10 times harder. I feel like that's what you needed to do with life in this time. I'm hearing the law of understanding. Okay, what you mean by that spirit? The law of understanding. You you trying to understand life. Mm, okay, so this is the analogy, the analogy I'm getting now. As a baby, you born into this world. Let's say, okay, you a mother and you have a child. Use this one as a better example. When that child is young, let's say you teaching the child how to ride a bike. You watching this child riding the bike, they fall off the bike. Nine times out of 10, if you run over to the child, no matter what, if the child gets hurt, you run over. Oh my God, are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? They might not have really hurt themselves, but them, they gonna cry. You know why they gonna cry? Because you running over there, ready to coddle their ass, ready to baby them. Now, that's not to say you're just supposed to let your child get, you know, damaged and shit like that, you know. But if you know it's not no um, real harm, you don't have to coddle the child. Sometimes you just got to use your wisdom, right? King of swords, you just got to be wise. So at the end of the day, you could also be that same parent that sees the child fall, scrapes the leg. You don't go over there coddling. That child going to get his ass right back up or get her ass right back up, get back on the bike and try again. So the law of understanding could be you in life. You know, Spirit is saying, oh my God, Spirit says, you done fail 10 of wands you done had some burdens no spirit didn't send nobody to your damn aid talking about some oh cancer is it okay do you need me to help you with this do you need me to help you with that you could feel like things have been very burdensome but that's only because spirit knew that you was gonna be all right spirit been trying to get you to understand you can get up dust yourself off and get back on the damn bike okay and it's like spirit trying to get you to point to the point where you ain't looking for nobody to come and call to you you don't even want nobody to come but get the hell away from me let me get myself up okay i'm good you stay over there i'm good i'm about to get back on this damn thing right so it's the same with certain things in your life you fall 
you dust yourself off and you keep going. You don't let the embarrassment kill your drive because some of y'all, like the title says, you about to receive a promotion. If you ain't received it already, it's on its way. So what are you going to do? Let the fact that some burdens, some struggles then came around, you're going to focus on the struggle, focus on how difficult it's been, focus on all the things that have gone wrong, or are you going to focus on, I'm about to get back up. I'm about to dust myself off and get back up. And when I get back up, I'm coming harder. Okay, more on point. Yeah, you got to block out what's not useful for you in this time. All right, what's coming in? The hangman, see? And this is like stagnation. Some of y'all feel like you're experiencing a lot of stagnation. You can't let that be the thing that gets you stuck or have you feeling like, Oh, something is just never, this reward is never going to come in. You thinking you just going to see nothing but burden in your life. That's not the case, Cancers. What is the hangman? Oh, child, we got king and queen of swords here. Some of y'all, this is a partnership. So, <laughs> I know that's not on everybody's mind, but it's on, uh, even if you ain't thinking about it, it's thinking about you. Child, what did I say? Three of cups. Celebrations. Bottom of the deck. Yes, the six of swords, the guiding light within yourself. Trusting in your intuition. Trusting that divine guidance, child. I'm telling you, nothing, spirit will never lead you astray. And look at you at the docks again, Cancer. I'm loving it. Okay, behind this, we got the Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity lies ahead. You see that light at the end of the tunnel there. Period, honey. And look at the boxing. This is where this boxing energy, I felt this card, child. Nine of Wands. You ready to knock a motherfucker out right now, Cancer. That's what Spirit is saying. You about to knock some people's socks off. Knock they lights out, child, because of how bright you shine okay i'm just saying you're not about to be playing in this time you're not letting the punches that come your way stop you instead you throwing your own jabs you hear me as i said before you're gonna take that damn lick you're gonna absorb that shit and you're gonna transmute it you feel me nine of wands is like i'm going hard okay you go hard or you go home at the end of the day are you in it to win it you ready for the fight? You afraid of the fight? Nah, you ain't afraid of the fight. Okay? The fight is inspiring. It's it's like somebody could have tattoos of stars. She got the star tattoos right here. That's what I'm paying attention to. But maybe some of y'all are trainers for this to even be coming up in my energy right now. Like, why I'm even thinking about fighting. <laughs> somebody could have an eyebrow piercing. Some of y'all, this is like spirit is saying, don't give up. Ten of wands, whatever struggle, that struggle about to be laid down. That burden is getting laid down, okay? And with the nine of wands, it's like, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel before it's too late or before something can actually come in because the ace of pentacles, your ships are right here. Look at the ace of pentacles. That's what you're waiting on. That's what you've been waiting on, okay? And it's coming and spirit is like, you are going to look back and feel happy, proud of yourself that you didn't give up, right? Even though that nine of wands can be like the wounded warrior, you tired, same difference if you a trainer or you working out or something like that, child, you be tired as hell. You got to tear them muscles down to rebuild them, to make them stronger. They got to get toe down first, okay? So it's hard work, but... You didn't let it kill you. You didn't let it kill your spirit. You haven't let it kill your drive. Regardless of any type of stagnation or delays you have seen thus far, this celebration is on the horizon. That is what is ahead. That's what spirit is guiding you towards. 
Some of y'all, this is the right relationship, the right people in your tribe, in your circle. It's like you being very wise, king and queen of swords. So this is my masculine and feminine cancers here. Y'all are being very wise and using your brains in this time, using your intelligence, not necessarily being guided by your emotions, but being guided by spirit. And when you allowing spirit to guide you, you can't go wrong. This is, once again, blocking out what doesn't matter and focusing on what does, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Let's get some of these on here. <clears throat> some of y'all, this is some communication. Child, somebody gonna reach out to y'all that y'all ain't heard from in a while. <laughs> okay, hey man is like, I ain't even talked to this person in some time. Okay, but they, they reaching out because this could be some sort of reconciliation. Now, it doesn't have to be a lover. Okay, it could be family, friends, whatever, acquaintances. You're about to hear from somebody that you already know though. I don't know how well you know this person, but you know this person. Maybe some of y'all are feeling kind of strange in this time. It's like you feel this coming. You already feel this person in your energy and you just don't know it yet. Spirit also wants you to move past your fears. I think that's what you're being guided to move away from fear. To a source, fear can be crippling. It can keep you in an energy of staying stuck and being complacent mm. because I'm afraid. Like, think about fear is a real thing that everybody deals with. You came into this world with fear, child. When you a baby, you afraid of every damn thing. You be afraid, oh, my mom is not going to come and change my diaper. I'm not going to get fed. You be crying. Maybe you afraid of the dark. You get a little older. You scared to sleep by yourself. You afraid of the dark. You afraid of this. You afraid of that. But for those of you who are moving past your fears, this is what spirit is trying to navigate you through so that fear doesn't become crippling you know how many people talk about oh i'm afraid of heights so they don't never go no damn where i will never get on a plane and go anywhere oh i'm afraid to be on the water so i'll never experience a cruise child uh i'm a, i'm afraid to do this or i'm afraid to start doing something because what if i fail that's why so many people don't never get started with shit because they afraid to fail Spirit wants you to move past your fears in this time, Cancer. That's what's going to set you apart from everybody that fuck else. Okay? Because everybody's scared of something. <laughs> no matter who you are, you can be the toughest mofo, at least presenting yourself as such. But you even they even got fears. You know what I'm saying? Spirit said, damn. Somebody finna have an orgasm. You see how all these cards just exploded out my hands? Yeah, somebody want to explode. Somebody think about you sexually. That's what that is. And we're going to go into it. I, I guess I'll make this one a little spicy for y'all. Fun. Okay. It'll be a little fun. <laughs> Period. Spirit say everything you afraid of has already happened to you. Oh, even if it has happened in previous lives that you unbeknownst to, you done already experienced death. That's why you experience in life now. OK, you had to reincarnate. You had to experience death to even live this life. Mm. Some of y'all was a man in a past life as my feminines and some of my masculines. Y'all were women in a past life. And, and for those of you who are, you used to be a masculine energy in a past life. In this life, you here to learn what it's like to be a woman. You might have even been a womanizer yourself. So now you got a, a clearer understanding of what women go through. And for my masculines that are here, you in, a, in the shell of a masculine, in your previous life, you were a feminine energy. And now you get to see what men go through. Because you know, sometimes as a woman, especially... I know you can go through negativity and you be like, oh, these men are trash. They this and they that. 
if I was a man, I would be doing this. I would be doing that. Child, if you was a man, you would be doing the same shit. And maybe that's why you in this life as a man. So you can see that you would have been doing the same shit. You a womanizer? Hmm. You probably thought in a past life, like, oh, fuck these player ass men. <laughs> now in this life, you the same damn thing. That's your karma. You hear me? I'm just saying. Sometimes it's to see what the other person really what it's like to be the other person and would you be any better because if we being real if you woke up tomorrow for a feminine and you in a man's body you know not that oh i was a woman and now i wake up as a man no you wake up you in a male's body you have no no memory of your feminine existence from the day before and the years before that right you remember yourself as always being a man, a boy. You grew, you know, you was a, a baby, you was a little boy, now you a man. What would you do differently? Like, what would you do in your day? What would you wake up and do? What does that even look like? And what type of man would you be to these women out here in these streets? Because a lot of y'all that think, oh, I would be a good man, you would be in the friend zone too. <laughs> Especially dealing with these traumatic ass people. We got trauma, child. We toxic as fuck. We used to toxic love. So you be a good man if you want to. You're going to be gay. They're going to think you gay. They're going to think you boring. They're going to think you whack. You're going to get put in the goddamn friend zone. All your homeboys going to clown your ass. Ain't nobody going to have no damn respect for your ass. Okay. So it's like nine times out of ten, you will have to change up how you moving out here in these streets okay i'm just saying some of y'all feminines you talking oh in the past life you this man you king dingling out here okay you slaying all the goddamn coochies <laughs> unleash the dragon and then you wonder why you got such a high sex drive as a feminine that's because you used to be a masculine okay you probably used to be a man child and now you didn't came into this existence with that same sex drive the same and you think oh all i gotta do is do this or be that and but you keep running into masculines that are womanizers they players play a player from the himalaya it's to show you you I'm just saying, you could be wrapping up some karma for, the, for all them coochies. You were slaying cancer, cancer feminine. <laughs> okay, you got promoted to being a woman in this lifetime or a man for the opposite sex. Think, keep up with me now. Stay on track. <laughs> now you get to see what it's like okay and for my masculines you out here slaying coochies child your next lifetime you will be the coochie that gets slayed i'm just saying you gonna see how it feel <laughs> you think you would be so much better we'll see because this life is like our, our movie one of my favorite movies child one of them because i got a lot of them Fallen, Denzel Washington. Whew. Denzel was something fine, child. Anyway, I'm getting a little beside myself. Okay, um, this man, you know, the movie is about um a, a demonic spirit entity, basically. But long story short, Denzel said he looks at life as like a big ass experiment right it's the great the biggest experiment there is and that's all god is doing experimenting child and it's a moral experiment as a man what are your morals because in your next life you might be that woman mm -hmm. they gotta reap all that shit that you sold in your previous life you finna reap it in this one as that feminine now for those of y'all that are female what are your damn morals and are you just chastising people because these men child it's hard to be a man out here you got to understand a man does not get a pat on the back for being a good man in today's society that's not the first thing that's coming their way 
okay they getting pats on the back like you can literally grow up i'm and i'm keeping it real 100 with this one child my my child's my two children their dad my two oldest their dad literally when he used to talk to my son on the phone when my son was young the first goddamn question used to come out his mouth is how many girlfriends you got son i used to be like really nigga that's what the fuck you and give me the phone give me the goddamn phone i have to uh don't add, don't don't be asking my son no shit like that okay this is you got to have conversations with him as a man you are a man that shouldn't be what about how is he doing in school what about what are your grades looking like are you being respectful to your mom are you being respectful to your siblings you know shit like that what you want for christmas you know what do you want to be when you grow up what are you doing that kind of shit but how many girlfriends you got what you don't even know what else to talk about but think about how many masculines grow up like that it's like you got to have a lot of girlfriends son <laughs> it's very confusing child they confused as fuck so you really can't chastise them because it's like at the end of the day they know not what they do you know and we can get upset and focus on oh but I'm too focused on what these masculines have done or what these feminines have done to me. So therefore, I'm just going to be this or that. No, you got to be able to see the bigger picture. Okay, sometimes it's about looking at the bigger picture. Spirit, that kind of took a, a turn. Let's get some clarity. something failed give me a second y'all it's the death card scorpio energy here some of y'all could have recently experienced some sort of passing my condolence to you guys if that's the case mm. maybe some of you guys are thinking about someone that passed someone that was close to you for some of y'all that could be having you pretty emotional i did say something about emotions running high in the last read so my condolences once again for that others of you i feel like this is an ending when it comes to whatever you're used to this struggle shit. now you're walking into success six of them six of wands what's the king of swords some of y'all, this is somebody talking about they ending a relationship too because the hierophant, look, and marriage came out. I cannot make this shit up. Some of y'all, this an end to your singlehood. Some Somebody, I'm also hearing you could have divorced, like ended one relationship, you got a divorce, and now you in a successful marriage, a new relationship. And that's probably some sort of hope for other people that think that, oh, I'll never find somebody else. Now, that's I'm not going to be for everybody, but some of y'all cancers have definitely remarried. So congratulations for those of y'all who are remarried. Some of y'all, this might even be somebody that you're watching them get married, like a father, a brother, a uncle, because it's clarifying the king of swords. That's the only reason I'm referring to masculine energy. But it could also be feminine energy. Take it how it resonates. You could be watching a sibling or someone close to you get married. And maybe it's even making you think about the future, like marriage in your own life, okay? This could be a friend for my cancer masculines, maybe like a homeboy or something, you know, getting married. And now you like, damn, I, I'm ready to settle down too. You know, this might be some sort of inspiration for you to start thinking about maybe I want to settle down, right? Something like that. 
others of you if this is some sort of past energy you ended a connection with somebody i feel like this is somebody who was kind of getting the best of both worlds so some of y'all this person was in a marriage they was married or in some sort of long-term relationship and as the six of wands this is getting victory and success in a relationship and outside of a relationship so they was out here acting single what's the higher effect Damn. Ugh. gift yeah somebody is definitely this is like a a wedding gift or somebody feels like a, their partner is a gift some of y'all this gift is what's on delay okay so if this is a new relationship that's what's coming in for you guys so you're going to feel like this person is a gift. So that means I feel like they're going to be different from what you're used to, what you're accustomed to in relationships. This is somebody who wants a higher level of commitment. Their morals are more in alignment with where your morals are. And that's the gift. That's the blessing. It's like being equally yoked. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, ma'am. Oh, some of y'all about to receive some unexpected money. Mm-hmm. Uh, some, so for those of you that this is a promotion, that's what's on the horizon. You being promoted. Mm. Oh, shit. You are being promoted in this time. Some of y'all in the music. Some of you could be really good at singing. Maybe you some sort of producer. Um, making beats or something like that. Music could be something that's helping you in this time as well. And some of y'all got somebody communicating with you through music. Spirit could even be communicating with you through, through music, letting you know about this abundance that's coming your way, child. You could be hearing songs that's like love songs all the time. You're like, bro, why I'm hearing all these goddamn love songs making you all sappy and shit? That's because love is on the horizon. <laughs> Some of y'all could be hearing music that's like got you, I don't know, music that makes you feel inspired when it comes to your finances so you feeling like the boss you feeling like you about to step into some wealth and shit like that that spirit's way of letting you know that it's coming okay some of y'all music could be like a a strong uh passion for you the journey card some of y'all this music is taking you somewhere okay Others of you, this is whatever you're focused on right now. Like when it comes to your business, your work, I feel an energy of maybe some of you guys are cutting back on certain expenses, possibly. Um, maybe this is just budgeting. Some of y'all going to have to start budgeting travel into your budget, okay? Because you're about to be catching flights, Cancer, for business opportunities, for fun, being that it's next to the Three of Cups. Somebody could be traveling towards you. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that you at a distance from if you are married. Some of y'all are married, but you at a distance from your partner. And somebody could be pregnant because look, and you could be pregnant with a girl. Don't have to be, but I mean, I didn't said it before. This is pink wrapping paper. It made me think of a baby shower. Some of y'all could be married to a Taurus. Don't have to be, child. We got King Dingling here, too. That's fire energy. We also got air energy with the King of Swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, even with the Hangman. Some of y'all going to have to put an end to doubt in your mind for those of y'all dating somebody at a distance. You keep thinking this person doing some shit behind your back that they ain't got no business doing. You keep on thinking like that, though, Cancers. You can create that. That's why I'm trying. Like, you got to be 
intentional with everything that you do, even with your thoughts in this time, even with the words that you speak, you're, you got to keep those emotions under wraps in a sense. Relationships are difficult, child. They not easy because you talking, I'm a person that got my own struggles and shit, you know, growing up, my upbringing and my circumstances have pretty much uh shaped me in a certain type of way and then now you got a person you in a relationship with somebody who they got an upbringing to child okay they had shit a struggles and they're living a completely different experience than you so for like a heterosexual you a masculine dealing with a feminine or a feminine dealing with a masculine child you don't know what it's like to be no woman or no man in this life Okay, maybe in your past life, but you don't got no recollection of that. Okay, that's why it's so easy for you to judge the opposite sex in this life because you don't remember when you were the very thing, child. Oh, it reminds me of this video clip this guy and this woman, and they're talking about their relationship. And the guy is talking about why the question that was posed to them or to him is why does he love her? Oh, and he was talking about how she loves him, bro. It allows him to be vulnerable. It allows him to open up and feel comfortable with allowing that femininity to come out of him. And then he was talking about how in the next, I'm going to love you in this life and in the next life when I'm the woman and you are the man. Child, that shit hit my heart so strong. I was like, oh damn brother okay you did it with that one and i mean i don't know why i'm thinking of this because i didn't i don't i can't even tell you what the damn channel name was it's so long since i seen that but that thing resonated with me from the time i saw it and it's still it's been with me ever since i'm like damn did he just say even in the next lifetime when i'm the woman and you're the man and in the next lifetime, will you even recognize each other? Some of y'all have come into unions where both people have recognized each other, but you don't have faith in this relationship. It's like you got the blessing of being in a partnership that's actually healthy. Is it perfect? No, because nothing is. Sometimes you got to learn to it's like you got to know what is worth fighting for and about in a damn relationship everything don't deserve a fight you know what i'm saying at the end of the day the masculine is the head but you as the woman you are the neck right so it's not about you the the head is leading but the neck is still going to give some sort of direction but it's not like you trying to take over like you the goddamn head you know what i'm saying you got to know how to maneuver in your role everything don't deserve your mouth even putting words on it and then when you do feel the need to put words on things, it's about the way that you put words on it. Are you going to meet every um, conversation? Okay, because we do got king and queen of swords here. Are you meeting every conversation in a combative energy, nine of wands? Because if you are, then your partner going to be combative as well. They're going to put their stance up too. Shit, fuck you mean. You ain't finna come at me with them hands up and think that I'm just gonna be walking around hands down ready to just get popped in the goddamn eye at any, any time. Nah, I'm gonna have to guard myself. So sometimes as a feminine, you gotta understand even in a relationship with a masculine, you, ain't, you don't wanna intimidate him or emasculate him, right? So that's, that, that's another reason because if you come across combative, then the masculine energy, the testosterone is like, who the fuck is you talking to like that, sis? Okay, like on some real shit. <laughs> I know if I was a man, you ain't finna talk to me crazy. And I'm a woman and I don't want nobody talking to me crazy. So I know as a man, you are not finna talk to me crazy. You feel me? It, I know me, if I was a man in a past life child, I wasn't that kind of man that you finna run over. 
okay period and a lot of y'all feminists that's exactly the way you were that's another reason why you probably deal with so much ego in this life as well you still you don't because we don't be understanding your dna holds all information of every life okay the lives of your parents their parents and so forth and so on that's all um in your dna i can't think of the word i was looking for imprinted it's already imprinted in your dna you carrying these things you that's why you don't know certain emotions that come up you don't really know the depths of this emotion or what you're feeling it might not even make sense to you some of the things that you feel that's because you don't fully remember you just have the feeling Remember I talked about some sort of strange feelings? I feel like spirit is preparing you. Spirit has given you a million dollar strategy for life, child. And it's about facing your fears. That's how you make that meal. A person who is afraid to fail will never make a million dollars because you will never get started you will never even try right a person that's afraid to fail at relationships will never have a fucking relationship you'll never be in a marriage you'll never be in a relationship you'll never have friends you'll never do the. you'll never travel because you're afraid you're afraid to even start you're afraid to let someone in. You're afraid that, oh, it's going to be too difficult. The million dollar strategy is understanding life. It's understanding that you're going to have certain quote unquote failures. But are you going to look at the failures and let that exceed the the wins the successes because you done had a lot of successes with the six of damn wands back here too but what are you going to focus on the the things that didn't go well or the things that have six of wands the things that haven't quite come in yet it's like oh the things that haven't happened makes the things that haven't come in yet seem like it's never gonna happen it'll never be me you can't allow you got to have a stronger mind emotionally speaking we beat out the other signs because we are emotionally intelligent way more emotionally intelligent than the others right we're open about our emotions we can go deep we can be practical it's like we're very practical even about the things that we feel that's why sometimes as cancers we go back and forth like i feel a certain kind of way but is it really legit can like you try to make sense of the feelings rather than just acting on them all the time you know what i'm saying but although you're emotionally intelligent when it comes to logic we got to be more logically intelligent in this time that's all spirit has been teaching you so that when all of the success comes in logically speaking you know how to even deal with all the things that's gonna fall off by the wayside because you're gonna lose people like flies child dropping they're gonna be dropping off by the wayside because everybody can't go with you where you going so, some of these mentalities a lot of these mentalities got to die because they can't go where you going. They not going to reach the altitude. They going to prevent you from reaching the altitude that spirit wants you to reach. Okay. So focus on what you want in this time, cancers, not focusing on your fears. What's the 10 of wands? observe your feelings don't absorb them don't soak that shit up look at them yeah pay attention i see it i see it for what it is i understand why i'm feeling this i get it um remember react think before reacting you get into a little spat a disagreement 
or it's the distance. I'm, I'm, why am I upset with my partner right now? Is this sexual frustration? Some of y'all just sexually frustrated, child. You wish you was near your person so he can <laughs> clap them cheeks, but they can't clap them cheeks like that, child. Maybe that's the only thing wrong with you. You need them cheeks clap, cancer. I don't king of wands some of y'all masculines maybe your problem is you want to clap some cheeks child and it's like damn i ain't got no cheeks to clap or you ain't near your person to clap them fame and fortune some of y'all got fame and fortune coming your way that's what you're being prepared for and if you just observe what you didn't get through you know that you can make it through anything like i think i said already everything you afraid of you done already dealt with the shit okay your relationship oh my god like you meet somebody new and you afraid they gonna break your your heart child you didn't met people before that done broke your heart did you die <laughs> hell no so even if you meet somebody new and they break your heart it ain't gonna kill your ass cancer so why is you scared if it's a past person coming back around, oh, what if they do the same thing? Okay, that's they fucking problem. You done been, you you already know what they expect, don't you? Ain't you, you done dealt with it before, right? So you a little bit more prepared, you feel me? Oh, I'm afraid of starting because what if I fail? Have you not started something before and failed, child? Have you not done things? Maybe you fail and then you get better at it. You do it again and you get better and better and better. But it's like if, if you are uh, too afraid to even try, then you will never know. That's why I said facing your fears is what sets you apart from everybody else because this world is full of people who will never face their fears. Like I said, you got people who say they got a they a fear of flying. Child, they'll never pack a, a suitcase and step foot on the plane. Because they too scared. So that means they'll never be able to observe the world. They will never be able to see certain things in the world, child, except through the TV screen. Some of y'all, it's like, as I said before, you're destined. Your destiny is one of fame and fortune. Somebody's sexy, bro, like you a model, okay? And look at you. Masculine or feminine, I'm just saying you got a lot of sex appeal. Um, And yes, fame and fortune is definitely a part of your destiny. But do you believe it? Do you have confidence in that? Do you got confidence in yourself? I feel like you got a lot of people even observing you in this time. They want to see what you're going to do, cancer. Okay. You going to be about it? Or you just talking? Hmm. What's this three of cups? Some of y'all going to be about it because that's what you, you celebrating change somebody packing up and moving okay change is on the horizon some of y'all as you elevate there are going to be changes to your friend circles to the people that you connect with some of y'all changes on the horizon because you're about to meet somebody new or somebody from the past is coming back in a new energy wanting to change a circumstance with you. And as the queen of swords, this somebody who want to talk, time. It's time. Somebody, it's like spirit is saying this is divine timing. Some of y'all, this change that you've been waiting on, it's, you got to be patient. The hangman. In this time of not seeing whatever it is that you want to see, this work, because the Ten of Wands can be heavy work that you're putting in. And as long as you continue to focus on your goals, that's your strategy. Focus on your goals. Don't, don't allow your fears to kill your momentum or kill your drive because you're going to be taking off, honey. So right now you keep putting in that work and eventually you're going to observe 
those seeds that you planted are going to bear fruit. You're going to start to observe your harvest, which is this energy of fame and fortune. Who cancers? This is five. Okay. I'm hearing flick, 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 like the shutter sound of camera. Somebody taking pictures. Maybe you getting some pictures taken. Somebody could be getting um, maternity photos. Some of y'all, that's what it is. Like the time of if you pregnant, you know, that's the time. It's like your baby won't. And then look at this, this child hang or upside down like the um, feet is coming out the womb. So that's going to bring about change. That's something that you're looking forward to as well. That's something that's possibly going to add more onto your plate, but don't get overwhelmed. It's not going to overwhelm you unless you allow it. Some of y'all, this change, as I said before, is a relationship where now you're no longer single. You in a season of being with someone, a relationship, the ace of pentacles. Others of you, this is definitely your time, your season when it comes to your prosperity, your finances and your goals. You're receiving some sort of recognition. Now, some of you, as I said before, with the hangman, there could be delays surrounding this. But like I said, also, delay doesn't mean denied. Maybe if you're seeing delays right now, it's only because spirit is, I've already said it, child, it's, it's setting you up for your greatest comeback. It's like, you got to understand there are peaks and valleys, child. Peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Sometimes shit might be, you you know, you things come quick and you feel like you riding the wave. And then sometimes things take that little dip, dip into the valley and it's like, damn, bro, why is things moving so slow? What's going on? What happened? Nothing happened. Spirit is setting you up for something. You don't know what the divine is doing in this time, but you know it's going to be victorious. You know it's celebrate. It's, it's something you're going to be celebrating with the three of cups. That's for damn show. So don't let the fact that you think something isn't moving quick enough, you ain't seeing what you want to see, make you feel like, well, I'm going to just give up. Well, maybe that's just not for me. Don't think like that, Cancer. What if that's your test? What if spirit is like, mm, shit going good for your ass right now? It's easy to have faith in some shit whenever things are going good. But what if spirit be like, let me slow things down a little bit for cancer, though. And let me see what cancer do then. Let me see if you will keep planting them seeds of the seven of swords. Because like I said, this is a moral experiment. The greatest experiment there is. Spirit just want to see what you made of. How tough are you in the face of adversity, right? Because it's a lot of people who, if even if they had to walk in your shoes, Cancer, they would have been gave up. <laughs> Child, please. I'm here in 2016. I don't know what that means for somebody. Maybe that time is significant. Okay, now I'm here in 216, February 16. That could be somebody's birthday. I don't know. That could be the last time you talked to somebody or saw somebody. I don't know, child. February 16. That could be somebody's anniversary. See, open your hands and get ready to receive. Don't be thinking from no lack mentality during this time of delays. Also, some of y'all that you haven't been talking to somebody, this person missing, they feel like the five of pentacles without you in their life. So for those of you that this is like some sort of reconciliation, yeah, somebody feels broken without you. Some of y'all, this is a same-sex connection. That's not going to be for everybody. Some of y'all, this is a mature man. So you could be dealing with somebody who's a little older than you. That's not going to be for everybody. And once again, music child is here. Y'all are definitely songstresses. Maybe you write music, you sing, you rap, you produce, something like that. An engineer. 
be careful of people trying to come into your energy um, because they see you doing well. Some of you are this mature man and you looking for somebody that's just as mature as your ass to be in this energy with you because you refuse to deal with people in this damn energy right here. Okay. Some of y'all could be getting into the industry the music industry and you know it's a lot of thieves in that goddamn industry i'm just saying okay some of y'all this is about making your own music okay this it's like you writing your own damn song you your life is either a like writing music or poetry or writing a book honey Maybe spirit is saying for some of y'all, you need to write a book, child. I don't know. Maybe this is just how creative you are. You're pouring your, your energy into your creative endeavors in this time. And it's helping you to grow. It's helping you to mature. I feel like a lot of you guys have matured a lot when it comes to your journey, your spiritual journey. These low vibing thoughts are things that you have now put on the back burner for some of y'all. That's what has changed. The way that you approach stagnation has changed. We ain't done yet, y'all. Hold on, I forgot. Let's get something on the outcome. What's this six of swords? What did I say? On the horizon, unexpected money, child, period. Somebody, either somebody sees this unexpected money, somebody trying to take this money from you. Some of y'all, somebody tried to steal some shit, like an inheritance or something like that, but you being compensated, you getting it back. Whatever has been stolen, you're going to get it back. It's being returned to you. Some of y'all, this a person that's reaching out to you unexpectedly, somebody who you don't trust. Some of y'all did some money that you you don't trust. <laughs> you like waking up and you you got some money in your account. You like, what the fuck? What is this? Or okay, I know. I don't know if it's this same thing, but I'm gonna give this as an example. At one point in time, I used to be seeing this little ad for like you can get some sort of money for Cash App. I can't remember how that little shit used to go. But I think you have to watch some ads or do something, child, and you get this money. And I want to say it was like $700 or some shit like that, but it could have been a scam. It's like people be like, oh, hell no, nah, that's a scam. Something like that. You get a message that you can get some money or you got some money waiting, some unclaimed money, child. It could be something like that. And you like, mm, I don't know if I believe this. This could be a scam. I don't think it's a scam, Cancer. I think it's legit. Okay, you're going to get that money in hand, child. So I don't know. Maybe somebody reaches out to you and tell you you got some sort of inheritance or something like that. And you like, inheritance from where? From God. Okay, I'm just saying. If spirit sent it your way, child, you just open up and receive. Just have them hands open to receive. Don't doubt it. <laughs> don't be afraid. What's the six of swords? Some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn. Child, why they look like a goddamn big ass penis in his hand? Jesus Christ. Well, I'll be. Be careful with that one, child. You don't want it to bust your cooch all out of, you know, Jesus. Have that thing toe up. Mm -mm. we can't do that you know we don't deal with them never mind <laughs> ah don't don't say that mm -mm. i can't say what i was gonna say y'all bottom of the deck three of pentacles somebody want that thing bad 
Mm-hmm. Somebody is thinking about you, obsessing about you sexually. Somebody could also be paying for sex here. Child, be careful of somebody like y'all masculines. This for y'all. Be careful of, I don't know, linking up with feminines, child. These, this motherfucker might be trying to set you up to get robbed. I'm going to just say it like that and just come out with it, child. I be trying to think of a way to sugarcoat shit sometimes, and that's be having me stuttering. <sighs> it's so annoying trying to be politically correct. <laughs> child um yeah be careful of a motherfucker setting you up to get robbed child others of you the devil it's like you obsessing over money maybe you obsessing thinking this money ain't gonna come you're not gonna see this change in your finances and that thief is like the seven of swords your self-doubt that negative self-talk and you obsessing thinking that things are just going to stay the way that it is spirit said expect some unexpected change honey that's abundant okay Some of y'all, I feel like y'all obsessively working in this time. So you could be working a lot of overtime and maybe you got people around you on this job because this is the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that's watching you make this money, child. And they know your part. They know that check look good. So that's the thief shit. They watching you like, what the fuck? Cancer getting all the overtime. You could have people competing with competing with you in that way child people be in their feelings about the dumbest shit spirit seriously motherfuckers is watching you work like they can't they can't sign up for overtime too damn or they feel like you always get all the overtime maybe you more reliable maybe they ass sign up and then they don't show up so maybe the boss just said fuck you you can't get no more overtime <laughs> I'm going to give it to cancer because cancer show up. I don't know. Something like that. Some of y'all could be having someone who is trying to steal like an inheritance or something like that from you. Or has, it's like maybe you dealing with something like that related to court issues. Trying to get compensated. This could even be compensation off of a job. And motherfuckers is trying to watch you. Okay, this is making me think if somebody got hurt on the job, uh, the job could have hired an investigator, a PI, to observe you just to make sure you actually hurt. Because they don't want to pay you this money. So they trying to come up with ways to not pay you this goddamn money. They trying to prove that you ain't hurt. Child, that's messed up. Who dealing with that? Because three of pentacles, once again, this is a job for some of y'all. Now, for others of you, this is somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you. The three of pentacles is like, let's work together, honey. Yeah, somebody want to be inside you. Some of y'all, this is somebody who you at a distance from them. Some of y'all, if you dealing with like burden, like you struggling within a relationship dynamic, child it's probably because y'all dealing with some sexual anxieties mm -hmm. what's the six of wands we got the eight of pentacles what about the king of swords too many y'all what's the king of swords Four of Swords and the Hermit. The Hermit. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Virgo. Um, somebody feels left a lot. Like, you see how this person, it's like you had a flame burning for this person right here, but that shit went out. And now you with somebody new. So some of y'all, this is your ex. Mm, they missing you. They don't like that you lovey-dovey with somebody new too, child. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, 
child, some of y'all married, and it's like your ex, they jealous of this shit. You could be married, happily married, have a have a child, maybe you having a child, and this ex is like, damn, I used to hit that. <laughs> I used to be all up in that thing, child. What? They missing it. They don't like this shit. They don't like that you happily married, that you don't talk to them no more four swords. They can't talk to you. Child, what they doing on this goddamn card? What the hell is he doing? Open wide? Okay, he look like he trying to bust her mouth open wide, child. What the hell going on? I don't want to show the card for too long, but Jesus. Um, I don't know. Somebody like you to suck on their fingers, cancer? What the fuck? Cancer, you like your toes sucked on or something? I don't know. Child, let's get the rest of this board. This is getting strange. The sun. Ooh, happiness lies ahead, honey. A lot of fruitful energy in that basket. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all, there's someone who is, the reason why they so focused on you is because they feel like you are their happiness. Somebody feels like they're being drawn, magnet, like you're a magnet, and they're being drawn back to you in your life. For those of you that this is like an ex that's obsessing over you. Others of you, if this is you, once again, stay focused on the things that make you happy. Focus on what you want for your future, energies of the sun, the happiness, the joy, the peace, knowing, having the clarity that the heights that you want to reach, you're going to reach them damn heights. You don't have to reach the mountaintop within the snap of a finger, okay? You can enjoy the journey to the top, okay? I feel like that's what spirit wants you to do. Being an energy of, instead of being so focused on your end goal, because once you get to the end goal, it's going to be something else that you want, child. So spirit is like, instead of focusing on the end goal, focus on the journey. Find some kind of happiness in your journey. The journey to love, the journey to fame and fortune, child, because it's coming. And you just got to watch, sit back and observe how spirit works shit out for you, child. That's all I'm saying. What's the ten of wands? Seven of swords. Somebody is also unhappy in a relationship. And they not talking like this is something somebody could be dying or suppressing. Like they could be lying about being happy. Somebody fronting like they happy. Some of y'all this is, let's say you got an ex. They be trying to post all kind of happy shit online, child, because they, they hoping that you observing. They hoping that you watching. Some of y'all ain't even watching. Because <laughs> you too focused on your own shit. And that's why this person feel the ten of wands. They feel burdened because they like, damn. Is cancer not watching me? Cancer must not be watching, but somebody must be trying to act like they happy and they really not. That's what they lying about. They trying to make somebody jealous, but somebody ain't even, it's like it's missing someone. It's flying over their head. They're not seeing this. Some of y'all, this could be a past person who maybe they were a liar, seven of swords. You don't trust this damn person, but they're coming back in towards you. This person watching you. Nine of Wands is here. It's too hard for them to just let you go. That's what I'm hurt hearing. Somebody says it's too hard to just let you go. Some of y'all getting a little too far away from this person, though. Hmm. I feel like something is about to be exposed for somebody, too. Maybe this is if you connecting with somebody that's out here, a king dingling in the streets, somebody about to find out about another person, a third party. Yeah, we got a brunette here and we got a redhead child. So somebody dealing with two feminines. That's not going to be for everybody. 
some of y'all, that's what you about to find out too with this thief card. So you could be dealing with somebody. They must be got a sex addiction. Somebody could be, you know how you in a relationship with somebody and they could be creeping in the sense of maybe they talking to people online. So it could be they talking to people who at a distance from them. That's how they hide this shit, hide the fact that they not in a relationship or something like that. Or somebody meeting people on apps and shit behind your back. What? Like if you ask child, who asked him to see somebody's phone or to see their DMs? This person going to flip the fuck out from you asking this shit. They not going to want you to get that phone. They going to be like, no, that's my privacy. <laughs> You're invading my privacy. And you like, what? Okay, this might piss you off, cancer. You might be ready to throw this person away because of this. Maybe you about to break up with this person. That's some drama, child. I don't know. Unnecessary drama, what I just heard, too. Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all, somebody want a relationship with you, but you don't trust this person. I mean, be it a new person or a past person, it don't matter. You don't trust them, whoever they are. You feel like they a thief. You feel like they plotting. But somebody is serious. Ace of Pentacles. They, they actually want a relationship. Some of y'all feel this way because you just tired, nine of wands. You done dealt with so much when it comes to relationships. You don't really have much hope. It's like you look at relationships like, child, is that shit going to come to an end any damn way? You might not be excited about love no more. It don't, it doesn't make you feel the same way. What's the three of cups? Maybe that's what has changed. The Knight of Cups. Mm. Six of Cups. Oh, somebody missing you. And the Empress. Uh, yeah, they missing that fertile energy. Somebody said it's been a long time. They shouldn't have left you. And this person, for some of y'all feminines, this person that I'm talking about, they got a big one, child. You could have been really obsessed with this person, actually. They could have had you digmatized, I'm hearing. Do you see that shit in his hand, bro? That thing big as fuck. I'm just saying. They a country boy. <laughs> they got that country grandma. Child, 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 unexpectedly, this motherfucker finna reach back out to you, cancer. Be careful. Okay, they could have had you sprung at one point in time. You don't want to get re-sprung. Don't let this come in and shift your focus. I feel like you need to stay focused on what your focus, where your focus is, okay, which is on your stability. But you got some temptation. It's coming. So prepare yourself. And even if it's a new person, that sexual chemistry out the it's off the chain. You want this person and they want you. I'm just saying. So be careful. Don't be sorry. Be careful. Okay. Look, look at you being tempted. For my masculines, you see how she tempted him? Come on, get off the horse, daddy. <laughs> Come over here. Mm. Or for my cancer feminines. Yeah, that motherfucker riding up on that horse, ready, ready to tempt you, to get you all in your feelings and shit. See how she's sitting in the water? Mm-hmm. Don't let this be something that comes in and changes your focus, okay? Maybe this is a test so that you stay focused because... This could be a circumstance that comes in for some of y'all just keeping it real and it, it shifts your focus from what you're trying to work on and build for yourself with that three of pentacles. And now you're trying to build and connect with somebody and build a relationship to where you change, shift your focus. And now when it comes to like your stability, your finances, shit start unraveling. 
going backwards into that poverty shit or you start instead of seeing yourself as the empress now you connect it to this person and you all obsessed over how they see you if they not treating you a certain way you start to feel the five of pentacles again you start to forget your worth and forget your value you start chasing this person no 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 don't do it that cycle is over the world okay don't let this person come in and shift your focus i feel like you got to protect yourself you see this shield right here protect yourself you see that goddamn snake behind her child i ain't never paid that no attention somebody got a big snake and i'm talking about a penis okay because do you see the side i digress Others of you, this is just um, be careful of these enemies, this snake shit. Somebody sees just how fertile you are, just how, you know, like you believing in yourself, you feel worthy, you feel valuable, and somebody could be watching you and they don't like this because they don't see themselves that way, okay? Child, somebody could also be getting breast implants. <laughs> Or like I said, you pregnant and maybe, you know, that's why they look so goddamn big and perky right now. Because damn, every picture, child, Jesus, um, they got a good plastic surgeon. <laughs> Somebody got a really good plastic surgeon here, possibly. <laughs> Maybe that's what somebody doing in this time, too. You could be working towards getting some sort of surgery or something for some of y'all. But this is a lot of abundance here. Some of y'all going to be millionaires, child. Continue to stick with your strategy. And don't let nobody come in and distract you from this million dollar strategy you got going right now. It's like you got to focus. You Some of y'all say you want to make a million dollars, child. So don't let nobody distract you from making your meal, period. You about to be promoted simply because you didn't give up on yourself. And with the Six of Cups, it's like everything that you've always fathomed for yourself. Like when you daydreaming about the future, that's what's coming in. Spirit is like, it's only a matter of time. Some of y'all, this is a relationship. Some of y'all just feel like, hell, once I get to where I want to be, which is on this throne as the emperor or the empress, that is when you're going to focus on love. But you're going to have some motherfuckers try to come in. Some of y'all, this ain't going to be love related or like someone that you could have a sexual partnership with. It could be a friend. It could be somebody trying to be a friend. It could be people who are obsessed with you and they obsessed with you in not the best ways because you see this thief card over here. Okay, so some some people not going to have the best intentions. So that's what I feel like you got to be cognizant of. Like I said, I don't know if it was this read child or the last one where I was talking about betrayal is never as far behind us as we would like to think. It's always somebody who want to stab your ass in the back child because they see you as having something that they don't have. So be aware of that of who you allow into your world, into your space, your circle, okay? Beneath that, we got the king of wands, king dingling. Some of y'all, this an ex trying to come back. If this person ain't in a new energy, you need to be able to bypass this test. You got to be able to resist the temptation of taking this person back. Look at the wheel right here. Wheel of fortune, that's your destiny. OK, some of y'all could have three goddamn motherfuckers trying to come into your energy. Look at these three holes right here. Bro. Don't let them get you trapped and get you caught up. And I mean, they seem like the type of people for my masculines dealing with feminines. These feminines are all about themselves, child. They only looking for what the fuck can you do for them? As you being king dingling, you the provider, they want to know what can you do for them. They not trying to help you in your life any type of way. It's all about what you can do for them. And for my feminine energies, this could be a masculine that's still dealing with three other hoes. 
Okay, they got holes, child. So they trying to get back with you. Yet they got these three bitches right back here on the fucking sidelines. Child, who is this? Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this could have been somebody who maybe they had you at one point in time in competition with other people. Now they coming back into your world because they see it ain't nobody better than you. Okay, whatever circumstances they had, that shit done went sour. Okay, and now they want a relationship with you. Take it how it resonates, but it's up to you. Either you're gonna trust this person and and bank like bet on this unexpected happiness that some of y'all could have with this person, a new beginning, or you just gonna stay focused on what you're focused on and kind of like not deal with this past person. It's up to you, Cancers. I feel like you're going to have to use your intuition, that God and light, trust in the divine, and make your decision off of that. But those are you guys' messages. I really hope that these messages resonated. If they did, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you have not already done so. As well as feel free to let me know below in the comments how these messages resonated. And I will catch y'all later in another reading. Until then, take care, Cancer.